How do you multiply this with this? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi and welcome to Team Lyca where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And today we're going to multiply mixed numbers with each other. Now we're going to draw from our lessons on transforming fractions, which you can watch right here, and you adding multiplying with cancellation lesson right here. Let's get started. When multiplying mixed numbers, ang unang-una natin kailangan gawin is to transform them into improper fractions first. So if you have 3 and 1 fourth and 2 and 2 thirds, right there, magtatornido muna tayo. So here you have 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 1, which is 13. That would make 13 over, kukopihin lang natin, yung denominator, which is 4. Ang... Um, 3 and 1 fourth is 13 over 4. Next, we're going to look at 2 and 2 thirds. Again, ikot lang. We have 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 2, which is 8. So, ang 2 and 2 thirds ay 8 over 3. Pag meron ka na yan, pwede na tayo mag-proceed dun sa next step, which is just to multiply. Tapos, kung meron ka pang pwede i-cancel, pwede mo pa siyang paliitin. Here, we have 8 and 4. Pareho silang divisible sa 4. Kasi ang 4 divided by 4 is just going to give you 1. 8 divided by 4 is going to give you 2. Now, yung 13 tsaka 3, wala na tayo magagawa. Pareho na silang prime numbers. So, we're going to just solve it across. 13 times 2 is 26 over 1 times 3. Wala na kasi yung 4. Na-cancel natin siya kanina, which is 3. The answer is 26 over 3. Now, of course, hindi ganyang form yung tinatanggap ng teachers or kung meron tayong exam, nakamix number siya dapat. So, ang gagawin natin is to divide 26 by 3. Now, 26 divided by 3 is going to give you 8 remainder 2. So, ang gagawin natin, kukopihin na natin yung whole number, 8. Tapos, yung remainder na 2 na yan, nalagyan natin sa taas, over 3. Final answer is 8 and 2 over 3. Now that you know yung kailangan gawin, it's time for your quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Here you have 2 and 4 over 5 times 1 and 2 over 4. Now, gaya lang kanina, ikutin lang natin ito para matransform siya into an improper fraction. You have 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 4. So, 14 over 5, yung 2 and 4 over 5. Times this fraction right here. Na, if you look at it, pwede mo nga i-cancel kasi 1 half lang naman ng 2 over 4. Para that way, kung inikot na natin siya, mas maliit na yung numbers that we're going to deal with. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So kasi ang 1 and 1 half, 1 and 2 fourths ay parehong 3 over 2. Now, you have 14 over 5 times 3 over 2. May pwede ba tayong i-cancel dyan? Yes, kasi yung 14 at yung 2, pareho silang pwedeng i-divide sa 2. 14 is 7 times 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Tapos, i-multiply lang natin sila across. 7 times 3 is 21 over 5 times 1, which is 5. Now, pag dinivide natin, yung 21 over 5, that is going to give you 4 remainder 1. Which means, kung gagawin ko siyang mixed number, the answer to this is 4 and 1 over 5. Nakuha nyo yung tamang sagot? If you did, that's great. If you didn't, that's okay. Kasi pwede nyo namang subukan ulit. And if you want to have your own copy of the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, at marami pang iba, you can go ahead and message us sa Team Laika Facebook account sa so www.facebook.com slash Team or sa m.ma slash Team We ship these out kahit sa Pilipinas. So sa mga kumuha na, marami po salamat. You help 
make sure that we have enough resources to pay for the studio, for the materials, for the resources that I make for free. So, in fact, kayo po ang nagsiscolar dun sa lahat ng mga maasa lang sa libreng video. Kaya maraming salamat sa inyo. Now, that's it muna for now. As you always see sa channel to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.